Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel. As you can see here, it looks like a tornado ran through it. Yeah. That is my, this, this is my room. This is how it goes. Nothing changes around here. Um, I'm trying you out on my new tripod. I think I'm going to like it. Uh, you really can see what I'm doing. And as you can see, I am going through and cleaning up my table because it's in a hot mess. Now, I'm behind on sewing, so I got to get that done. Uh... I need to make more of these. Well, I'm going to make some more of these. Um, they're gift tags. And they've got a pocket in here. You could put, like, credit card in here, whatever. But I'm going to make a whole bunch of those. And then... Uh, I need to get on the ball of making these, let me turn it around, making these dribble bibs, dribble bibs, let's see, hold on, I'm thinking about putting you over here on this corner, because I have to turn. This way, I don't have to turn. Can you see what I'm doing? No, that don't work, does it? Okay. I'm trying to get it situated here. But anyways... I have these dribble bibs. Um, I just sewed this one up just to, you know, just to sew one up. But anyways, I'm going to put the cam snaps behind them. And I got some keep print boys fabric. So, I need to make a whole bunch of these. Um, the, uh, oh, what is it? Oh, the bark cloths and the blankets. And I am just going through my fabric because I have tons of it. Uh, I see fabric and I go get more. Now this pattern here, which is for an eyeglass case. So I'm thinking about making some of those. They're eyeglass case. And then this, it, this here is for your rotary cutter. And I don't know, I got it off Pinterest, so I'm going to have to go back and find out how it's done. But anyways, that's... And then I'm going to come off my comfort zone. Uh, I want to learn how to do clothes. 
Um, I'm just going to start out simple, basic, uh, nothing where I'll have to put zippers in. I want to come out with something that I can learn how to do. Um, so, my main thing is, I got this pattern, and I figure it would, you know, and <clears throat> these things sell. People make these and they sell them. You would be surprised that, the, that, that they sell. Um, I want to learn. And this is how I'm going to learn how to do it. Uh, yeah, it's going to start out small. But it'll give me the practice. That way I'll learn how to do pants. I'll learn how to do a shirt. Um, I know how to do a pillowcase dress, and I already know how to do ruffles, so this will give me the opportunity to really learn, uh, and I'm going to get them all cut out, and it's, I got it at Joann's, I got it at Joann's a while back. And it's see and sew. And yes, it's easy. It's uh, number B5944. And it's this right here. Aren't those cute? Now, I really can make this dress learn and make the pants that go with this. And the shirt and really learn how to do this uh, that would give me the basics right there so I'm gonna learn how to this is what I'm gonna learn how to do and I've seen some cute baby outfits too so while I get this down I'm gonna learn it so, um, I have some, what you call, um, I've got some practice fabric. And I'm going to do that on this. That'll get me to learn. I'm not going to do it on my good fabric, because if I keep messing up, it's just going to ruin. So, I got some fabric that I'm going to try this pattern on. And see how good I go with it. And this will get me to learn how to do clothes. But doll clothes? Oh, yeah. I'll do doll clothes. Um, there's a YouTube channel. Her name is Diane Murillo. You ought to go check her channel out. She is awesome on doll clothes. She really fixes them up. And uh, I would love to learn to do that. Because you can sell them. And uh, you can even sell the clothes. People buy that stuff. So. Uh, I'm going to sit down and cut these out. And I'm going to learn how to do it. And. I need to learn how to do it. But anyways, um, I need to finish this right here. I'm almost done with it. I just got to finish sewing the other side. But it's, um, it's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And this was sent to me. 
So I'm making it for my grandson. Well, my grandbaby. My grandson. Whatever. Grandbaby. Um, but I'm making it. So I wanted to get that fixed. So that's here. What I got going. Um, that, which I showed you in another video, that runner right there, that is my Santa Claus table runner. Uh, all done in the hoop. Five hours. So, yeah. <laughs> it took a lot of work, but see... What was so bad about it is, is normally I would do two panels a day because five hours, it's, it's a while to learn how to do stuff like that. But it was well worth it because it turned out really cute. And then, um, these little, I'm looking to do something for my daughter's baby shower, uh, gift bags. I think I'm going to make them and fill them up with candy or whatever, but I don't know if I'm going to do it like, I, I might do it like this. I have a pattern. Hang on a minute. Okay. My dogs are going crazy. But yes, I'm going to use up this Christmas fabric. And then, um, I have this right here. So, oh no, I may just use the fabric on it. Who knows about me? But I have this panel. And then I still have more Christmas fabric. Gosh. Christmas fabric, Christmas fabric. You can't go wrong with Christmas fabric because I got enough of it. But I'll use it. No big deal. I got about everything together and I got that corner there cleared out so I'm just gonna leave that corner there you know so I can put my stuff right there but trust me this table gets really messy really quick I need to fix some more of these pot holders the finger ones I need to do some more of those. I'm telling you, I I come up with all kinds of crap. But 
anyways. My aunt found me, um, she gave me this basket of stuff. And this is really good and handy that you use for the patterns. A wheel. That'll come in handy. Uh, cord piping. Uh, some kind of needles. Little claps and a whole bunch of buttons. And then three big spools of thread. Actually, four. All this here. And this little basket. And then this little... You put your thread on. You can... Set it up. But anyways, that's a neat idea. But, I just kind of wanted to do a video to kind of see how this would work. Um, just to chit chat for a minute. Uh, to see actually that you can see me more better, you can see the room more better, and then when I place you over here where you can watch me sewing, and also I can bring you down to watch what I'm doing. So that kind of gives, uh, that kind of helps me a lot better in my videos. And I'm happy about that. Because that gives me the opportunity to um, really... That gives me the opportunity to really come up on my videos. And I can do more videos. I've just been... I've been sick for the last two days. Um... Just hadn't felt good. I'm dealing with my asthma. Trying to get over this crap, really. Trying to get over it. It's hard. But anyways. But... I might set and do a video on me cutting out those doll patterns. I might do that. Who knows what I'm going to do. Uh, you know, kind of get them cut out and I'll put them in a Ziploc bag. So that way I know and then get the fabrics prepared and and stuff like that. So, I may just sit and do a video on that. But, I guess I'm going to get off of here. Um, let me know what you think. And, please subscribe. Uh, give it a thumbs up. And... Leave comments. Share. Share these comments. Leave these comments and let me know. That's how I know where I can gain more on doing videos of y'all's feedback. And I've noticed that I have 30 subscribers. And I'm really thankful for that. And hopefully 
I'm trying to get to a hundred. If less, at least I'm gonna try to get to fifty. Um, that is gonna be my goal, cause then that way I know that I'm gaining success to all this. And then uh, at fifty. I probably will do uh, some kind of giveaway. Uh, I don't know what it'll be yet, but um, I'll let you know. But I love to see people, uh, if y'all can just comment below like, hey, this is what you should do to make it better. Um, we want to see more of what you sew, of what you work, what you do at the cutting table. You know, I want to see more of that, or I want to see, um, I, I just, I, I want to, I want to see, I, I want to be able to look at your video and see, I've got a lot, I'm subscribed to a lot of subscribers, lots. And, yeah, I have my ones that I'll, I'll link to. And, but it's like, I keep trying. And it's like, everybody views the video. Well... You know, I try to leave comments all the time because if I like something, I'll leave a comment. Um, even if I don't like something, I'll tell that person. Comments what gains your perspective a lot better because they're watching your video and... If they see something, they're like, hey, okay, she could have done it this way, or she could have done it that way, you know, let me leave a comment and let her know. That would help me, like, hey, okay, I got somebody, like, I had a person say that I have a letterbox video, and that was because... That's the only way I can do these videos. It, I can't turn it upside down. It's... It, I, I don't know. It's hard to explain because I'm just on a... I'm on an iPad. Um, so, hopefully, this will gain it a little bit more. And you would come to my, and like my videos. So, I'm just putting stuff out there. Um, because I want people to know that, hey, you know, here's this, here's this girl, you know, and I'm trying, I'm doing everything I can. You can see now that, since I got this tripod stand, it is so much better. I can actually stand. Yeah, I sit in the chair because of my back. I'm, that's just because I have a bad back. But I also can stand. You can see me a lot better of what I'm doing. And I like that. You know, that's going to gain a lot for me. But... Okay, well, I'm going to end this video, and I probably will be putting more videos up of everything that I'm going to do. So, um, I know the next project that I'm going to get done and show is how to make these fabric, gift, fabric, these fabric tags. And 
these are cute and simple and I really like them uh, if I make a whole bunch more I don't know what I'll do with them but these are good you know people that do scrap booking but I got this I got this pattern right here um I seen it on a video and I can't think of who the video was I was just randomly um just clicking on videos and I didn't get her name but um these are awesome so who knows? I may do a video of cutting this pattern. Who knows what I'm going to do. But I might do that. I might just start cutting this out. You know. But. Alright. Well. I guess I'm going to get off of here now. Stop rambling. So I will see y'all on the next tutorial. Bye bye.